passion, drive, persistence, resilience, love, all qualities that shape and define us. Join the Cyber Warrior as he helps shape your path. This is Walk With Me. Welcome back to Walk With Me, a Cyber Warrior Studios production. I'm your host on this journey, the Cyber Warrior. Now, last week, if you listened, I talked about love and passion. Love is a very powerful emotion, and it can do a lot of good for our lives, and I think we need more of it. But this week, I want to talk about something else, another very powerful emotion, extremely powerful, and it's used against us oh so frequently, that emotion being fear. Now, fear can be a good thing. It can, a lot of times, stop you from doing something stupid, but can also be weaponized against you. In my career field, personally, in cybersecurity, I see it a lot. That's where phishing emails and things like this come from. They weaponize your fear. They expect you to make an emotional reaction to something. And now as someone who has talked to a lot of high school students and middle school students and things of that nature, especially on the terms of cybersecurity, which don't get me wrong, this podcast isn't necessarily about cybersecurity, it just makes it easier to relate this. Fear is so prevalent. In my career field, we have a term, it's called FUD, right? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. If you can impose those, a lot of companies will use those as sales tactics. In phishing emails and SMS and things like this that you see on a daily basis, even in your own personal email, fear is most commonly used. Hey, you made this purchase. Are you sure you want to do that? Click here. Do this. Do that. We let emotions run our lives too much. We see it in the media. We see it in our email. And we see it everywhere else. And so this is where the logical side of how we react needs to come into play. There's a reason that me personally, it's a lot harder to get me on something that is a scam. And that's because nine times out of 10, I try to think logically about things. I try to look at something and see if, did I do that? Is that something I have to worry about? Is that something I did? Now, don't get me wrong, I've been afraid a lot in my life. I've let fear stop me from so much, whether it's running a business or achieving certain goals. And I think a lot of us let fear stop us from achieving our dreams. Because if you're afraid, you're not willing to pull the trigger. You're not willing to take that risk and take that leap that you truly need to take. So when it comes to your email inbox or that SMS, that text message you got, or that phone call you got, whether it was from Apple or Amazon or whoever's claiming to call you that day or the IRS, that fear is going to play a role. But think logically. Do you even own an Apple phone? Did you even make a purchase on Amazon? Have you gotten an email saying someone logged into your account? There's, there's a lot of ways that you can stop this from a cybersecurity standpoint. From a life standpoint, we have to start pulling back the reins on our fear. We have to really start looking at things from a way of no longer being complacent. Let's be honest, in my career, I have gone with the flow, right? I don't always reach out and say, hey, I want to hit this next level. I don't follow through on a lot of things I've done in my life. I start them and then I get afraid that it's not going to work out and I pull back and I stop and I shut down. And I know there's a lot of people out there like that. So what we have to do as individuals and within our communities is pull back the reins on that fear. We have to stop looking at things in such a way that we let it block us and almost become too large of an obstacle for us to overcome. When we are looking at that next big thing for us. Now, sometimes you'll look at it and say it costs too much money. That's an excuse. Because there's so many free ways to do things. There's so many less expensive ways to do things. Or maybe we're just spending too much on pointless things. So we put a lot of excuses in the way because we're afraid. We're afraid to follow through. Now, does that mean you're necessarily wrong? No, because that fear is sometimes good, right? 
But a lot of the times in our lives, we let that fear stop us from succeeding. We let that fear stop us from hitting that next rung, moving up the ladder, and really excelling our lives and creating great things in our lives. So what I want you to do is I want to take your fear. I want you to take your fear. And I want you, like all things in our lives that we really should do, I want you to learn how to moderate it. Is it something you should really be afraid of? Or is someone lying to you? Or is somebody trying to weaponize it against you? Or are you weaponizing it against yourself? Because if you limit your fear, if you find a way to take control of it and own it and know what you're afraid of and beat it back, beat it down and take control of your emotions, of your life, of your situation, then that fear starts to go away. And then you will find that not only are you happier because you're not afraid all the time, but you become more successful. You become able to do more in your life. Now, this can pertain to your love life. This can pertain to your career. This can pertain to just about anything. You see the media weaponize fear against us all the time. You see in our lives and in cybersecurity, fear weaponized against us. You see it in how you go about living and finding relationships. Fear is against us. Quit being afraid. Yes, there's valid things out there to be afraid of. It's okay to be afraid of spiders. It's okay to be afraid of death. It's okay to be afraid of the dark. It's okay to have certain fears, though sometimes they seem irrational. But to be afraid of getting promoted, to be afraid of owning a business because it might fail, that is illogical. Because if you don't actually attempt it, then you haven't done anything. And now you can't even succeed because you let your fear beat you down. You let your fear control you instead of you controlling your fear. Use your fear to assess the risk. Use your fear to write out documents and, and you know figure out if this is truly what you want to do, if this is the route you want to go, and look at all the consequences of those actions. That's okay. Fear can make you look at risk differently. But to let your fear control you to where you never even try, now you're just missing out. You're missing out on a lot of life. You're missing out on a lot of the things that you could potentially do. So I want you truly, truly to take your fear, harness it, find the risk, determine whether or not it's worth it to go for it, and then reap the rewards of not letting your fear control you. That is the only way that you will ever get out of your own way. Because in our lives, we are our biggest obstacle. In our lives, we are the reasons we don't succeed. Other people are going to tell you different. But I have seen way too many people succeed where others have failed. Not because they truly failed, but because they never even made the attempt. I've seen businesses succeed and ideas come to fruition and go far and beyond what I ever imagined. And funny enough is I was afraid I didn't do the paperwork. I was afraid it wasn't going to work, that I wasn't where I needed to be. Fear kept me from doing a lot of things. Don't let fear stop you from success. Don't let fear stop you from finding that special someone. Don't let fear stop you from anything unless you have evaluated all the risk. But remember, and this is going to be your bit of wisdom for today, if there is no risk, then is there truly any reward? Because in life, the hardest things to acquire, happiness and success, will always come with risk and work. Because if it's easy, if it's free, then you're never going to value it, which means, did you really succeed? Did you really earn it? Because even in my career field, trainings that are free still cost something, your time and your dedication. Nothing in life worth having comes free. Now saying that, I love you all. I truly do. And I truly, truly hope you get out of your own way and you find a way to beat back that fear. Take a moment down below, check out the description for all the ways you can support me and make sure you submit your anonymous questions. That AMA link is in the description below as well. And I will definitely, definitely be talking to you all next week. And if you submit a question, by all means, I'll be answering it also. All the ways you can support it down below as well.
saying that take care and I will see you all. Well, I will talk to you all next week. Hey, thank you everybody for making it through another episode of Walk With Me. Uh, once again, this was all recorded uh, months ago, back before I even attended of putting anything on YouTube. And it was still really cold out, so it wasn't really like anyone knew I was walking or not. Um, but I do eventually get outside and start walking around and do more. But uh, I did want to say thank you. Uh, I appreciate everything that my supporters have done. Uh, if you want to support the show, please hit the comments, hit the hit the like, subscribe, share this podcast. And if you prefer the audio form, guess what? It's out there. Go ahead, rate, share, all that stuff too. You can also find links to my merch and to the other ways you can support the show down below in the description. Otherwise, look, I'm going to be uploading these every day until I get caught up. Uh, I just wanted to stop by. I wanted to thank you. And I can't wait to see how big this gets. So hopefully you all help out and I will see you all next time. Oh.